Nowadays, most of the people are suffering from constipation. The constipation is a major disease, unlike uh, diabetes or blood pressure. The person has to go to toilet at least once a day. This becomes a habit right from the childhood. If the child is not allowed to ex practice this one from childhood, this constipation becomes a major disease. For adults, the lifestyle is changes and uh, because of the change in lifestyle, they are not able to um, eliminate the feces on time. Now, if you just take our lifestyle, now you know 24 hours are there in, in a day. 12 major organs are present in our body. Of the 12 major organs, large intestine that is bowel, which is res responsible for elimination of the fecal matter, it is very very active between 5 and 7. At that time, if a person is sleeping or not able to go to toilet, then it gets solidified, it gets, it gets stuck up in the bowel. He is not going to the restroom at all to allow the elimination of the fecal matter. Then it becomes a chronic disease. Once it becomes a chronic disease, the fecal matter which gets stuck up in the bowel, it irritates the lining mucous membrane. The putrefaction takes place because of this, the symbiotic bacteria gets uh, there in the, in the, they start multiplying in larger numbers and then this actually irritate the lining mucous membrane by producing toxic material. Bowel actually is a large, it is also called large intestine and large intestine, first part of the large intestine is the appendix, ne next major part is the colon, last part is the rectum, finally it ends up in the anus. Now if there is irritation because of the putrefaction, because of the toxic material accumulating there, the patient feels the irritation in the form of colitis excruciating pain will be there. The first part, especially the appendix, which is a uh, caldi sac, which actually gets irritated, then it becomes appendicitis. Extreme pain will be there in the la lower part of the large intestine. Appendicitis is a major disease and it is the cause is the constipation. So, eliminate the constipation. Const what is the other cause of constipation? Supposing a person is not able to eliminate what is he has got in his mind. The mind actually plays a crucial role. If there is too much of stress, if he is not able to share what he has got in his mind, that also causes problem. Then elimination is from the digestive system, physical part. Elimination of what he has got in the form of haunting memories, if that is not there, that also may cause the constipation. So, how will we eliminate the constipation? Now, constipation causes uh, ulcerative colitis, appendicitis, rectal uh, passage irritation, anus piles. How, how can we eliminate this one? We have to go to the chakras. Where, what, what are the chakras that are responsible for this? Lower, the lower part of the abdomen, there is one chakra called Swadhisthana chakra, which is responsible for the bowel movement, normal activities of the bowel. Entire bowel, large intestine is under the control of Swadhisthana and Muladhara chakra. So, if there is constipation, the patient feels the pain in the lower abdomen initially. If it is there for a pretty long time, then it may cause appendicitis. The, to avoid appendicitis, you have to treat constipation. To avoid the other end has got the anus. That also gets irritated. Once that gets irritated, the symptom is piles. So piles and uh, for appendicitis, the major cause is constipation. So for to treat constipation, you have to treat the digestive system. That is, for proper absorption, for proper assimilation of the food, you have got stomach and large stomach and small intestine. That is under the control of Manipura chakra. Then lower part of the abdomen, 
that is controlling the activities of the large intestine, it is under the control of Swadhisthana Chakra. So you have to treat this Manipura Chakra and Swadhisthana Chakra in case of any problem of constipation. Constipation is a major disease. If there is constipation, one I told you it will cause appendicitis, doctors may uh, uh, ask for surgery. But only thing is you don't have to go for surgery because appendix is not a remnant, it is not a vestigial disease, it is part of our immune system. First part, first kind of defense is tonsils, tonsils which is present in the thorax, uh, throat region. The appendix is in the lower part of the abdomen, is the last line of defense. So this is part of the immune system or part of the defense mechanism. So this has to be maintained, it should not be cut and removed as it is being done by elephants. So for retaining the appendix, you have to treat the constipation. So you have to change the lifestyle. Supposing you have the habit of, children have got the habit of getting up at late in the morning, they are 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, they go in a hurry to school. Sometimes schools do not provide proper um, toilet etc. So they don't go to the toilet at all. They just control this one because of this there is irritation. That irritation causes appendicitis. That irritation if it is there for a longer period, it will irritate the lining mucous membrane of the large intestine. It will cause colitis. Colon gets inflamed that is called colitis. If it is there for a pretty long time, it may cause even ulcerative colitis. Sometimes it may end up even in the, can the form of cancer. Cancer can be due to prolonged constipation, chronic constipation or sometimes if the person is not able to share his experiences, share his thoughts, share his, share his emotional disturbances with somebody or if it is, if he goes on suppressing all his emotion, sometimes it may cause cancer of the bubble also. What will happen in the case of cancer of the cancer? Uh, in case of cancer of colon, they cut and remove the part. That is not the solution. So, constipation is a major disease. Treat constipation by going to the Agni Chakra, Manipura Chakra, Swadhisthana Chakra and Mooladhara Chakra. Another way of treatment for constipation is Sujoka acupuncture. In Sujoka acupuncture, I have already told you in the other part, um, the videos that meridians are there. Pathway for the flow of energy are described as meridian. Large intestine meridian is on the index finger, on the yang side of the finger. Here it is running like this. Now, if you want to treat constipation, the large intestine is not able to evacuate the content. So, it has become too dry. To eliminate the dryness, you have to sedate the dryness point of the dryness meridian or large intestine meridian. Another point is treat the humidity, tonify the humidity to sedate the dryness. These are the two methods of eliminating the constipation or treating the constipation by Reiki and acupuncture methods.